Hi all, Darren Anderbro from DA Components. Just going to do a new video talk, talking about the new edge range uh, over the top rinse bars. Uh, seems to be a lot more common in the, the UK now. So I hope everyone's uh, enjoying the new brush because some of the comments and the feedback we've had has been fantastic. So I'm just going to demonstrate how the rinse bar performs. And what we've got set up here is, is it's just slightly different. We've actually got a four-way connector here now. So in theory, you could physically have the over rinse bar in working. And also you can have the pushing jets working as well, which is the V-jets. And the V-jets has actually got four holes in. So in theory, you've got eight jets coming out inside the brush. And then you've got the rinse bar over the top as well. So I'm just going to switch it on so you can see what it performs off a standard backpack. So there's the over inch bar in action on the 26 centimeter uh, genuine bristled brush, a dew point bristled brush. Obviously you can see on the inside now, if I turn the brush around I'll get wet. You see on the inside you've got four and four, so you've got eight in the inside of the brush. Then you've got the over the top rinse bar. Now, to me, that's more than enough water at one set br uh, brush head. So I'm just going to demonstrate how it performs on the glass. And as you can see, the rinse bar, as you push down on the bristles, you can see where you can have it. In the rinse bar, what you can see here, you've got a little bit of adjustment, so you can move it down. I've got it just set up as high as it possibly can. But you can adjust that slightly down a little bit more so you can just get it over the bristles where you want to work. So that's the over -ins bar with the four jet, V jet inside uh, the genuine bristles dew point brush with a four way connection. All right, when we send these brushes out, you only have a standard three piece, but we do have these available on the site ready to buy so that's not a problem so let's talk about when you get a over rinse bar nine times out of ten all the jets will be working perfectly there might be the odd one that it's just not performing to its maximum now what the problem is is I don't know if we could possibly see this on the rinse bar here there's a series of holes being drilled from the manufacturing now what the problem is, if the one's slightly off, what the tends to be the problem is, is just a bit of plastic swarf inside the actual rail here. Now if you turn the controller on, on the maximum, 9 times out of 10 it might blast it out. But if it doesn't, there's no reason why you can't use a little pin, just to pin it in there, just to push it in. Because I'm going to show you what the drill bit actually looks like. I put it in a little bit of a sponge here look, and you can physically see that drill bit there it's not point naught of a six mil drill bit so that drill bit drilled them holes in this rinse bar here so i'm just pushing them in there look so if you can get yourself a little pin you squiggle it round to clean the rinse bar out and hopefully that should solve the problem so that's demonstrate demonstrating the 26 centimeter rinse bar adjacent with extra jet pushed in to the middle of the brush stock. But you've got to remember, if you want to do a configuration like this, you've got to remember you need to buy the four-way connection here because all the, the 26 centimeter brushes will just come with a normal T3. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm in the middle of swapping the brush over to a 35 centimeter genuine bristle brush. And now the most common question I've been getting asked for the, the brush range is will it fit my pole at the end of the day as long as you've got this angle adapter here this arrangement here this is a standard industry uh, angle adapter it's on most poles on the market so will it fit my pole yes it will so with the edge range this is the angle that the most common one is so it's a swivel angle like so and that part there will just attach to the top or the bottom half of your angle adapter like so even if it's a quick lock system, it's got a wheel, it's got a lever, or it's got another type of uh, undoing nut here or something, it'll always fit because these teeth are exactly the same. 
so I hope you found the video interesting. And uh, yeah, these are only the couple of ways that we've uh, set up to demonstrate the jets in use. And obviously some of the questions that we've been asked. So I hope you're uh, liking the edge range brushes as well. So if you feel as if like, oh, would that work? Would this work? Please feel free to message me and we can set it up and we can demonstrate it and show the view is it. So if you haven't seen one, we will be at the cleaning show uh, in the next couple of weeks in April. Thanks a lot, Darren from DA Components.